The most important thing that you own in your home is your bed. I mean, think about how much time you actually spend asleep and there's nothing worse than a really bad night's sleep because your bed is not working for you. It's so important to get it right. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to style it, your bed, to get the maximum enjoyment every single night. So keep watching. Hello interioristas, I'm Ash Appleton. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's just go back a bit. It's not actually the bed that's the most important thing, it's the mattress. You could have a beautiful bed, but if the mattress doesn't work, if it's uncomfortable, you're not gonna get a good night's sleep. So prioritize your mattress. You spend all that money on the mattress, so you need to protect it. So you need a mattress protector. That's what I have here. It makes a difference, because if you ruin your mattress, it's, it's gone. So always have a really good quality mattress protector. You can, you can actually make it yourself. Maybe a piece of foam that you cover with cotton. So you start, then you put the mattress protector on top of that. Same thing goes for pillows. You can get pillow protectors because for pillows I tend to use feather, you know, feather ones, duck down or goose down pillows. I don't like synthetic pillows. Obviously you've got allergies and things, synthetic pillows work. So if you've got a nice feather pillow, you need to protect that as well with a pillow protector. Again, you can have this made quite easily if you can't find them. I prefer fitted sheets because they're just much easier to make a bed with. So I always buy the elasticated fitted sheets on all my beds. You can get the plain ones, but then they can look really untidy if you don't know how to make, you know, how you have to tuck them in properly and everything. So for me, fitted sheets are always a go-to. Then comes the duvet. I always use a duck down or a goose down duvet because they just feel so much more luxurious. I mean, synthetic duvets never feel quite right as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, again, if you've got allergies, that's a different story, but if you can afford a goose down or duck down duvet, go for it. In terms of bed linen choices themselves, I mean, there's just so much, to, there's just so much out there. So it just depends on your style, your interior style. I kind of like a plain, white with maybe a little bit of a pattern because then I can build on top of that but some people prefer colored bed linen they prefer patterns or stripes so yes that obviously that's just, just a personal preference for a king size queen size bed I like to have four pillows but because I'm using these big cushions I'm only going to use two otherwise it's just too much on the bed and cushions like this make such a difference in terms of the finished result because they just add a little bit of pop and you can show off your personality and your, your color scheme. So cushions like this are definitely a go-to. Finishing touches. I've got this gorgeous Moroccan throw that I just put at the end of the bed. And the beauty about this is that during the cold season, I just use it as an extra layer and that keeps me warm. So always nice to have something like this because it's, it's actually functional and it, and it makes the bed look beautiful as well. There's another way of styling the bed if you're using four pillows. Obviously, if you're using four pillows, you want to use smaller cushions, otherwise the whole thing's gonna to look too bulky. So there you go, the bed fully styled with two lampshades and two bedside tables. And the aim here is to avoid matchy-matchy. That's why I've gone for these Perspex bedside tables because they, they contrast with the four poster bed, which is quite heavy and it's in wood. Again, the floor's wood, so you need something light and contrasting, otherwise it's, it's just too much wood. Again, the lamp, the bedside lamps, a nice contrast with the kind of traditional and the contrast with the modern bedside tables. I would actually paint the bases. I'd pick out a color from the heart cushion, maybe a purple or a yellow or orange, blue, and then paint those. I've talked about matchy matchy furniture in a previous video and why you need to avoid it. It just doesn't look that interesting. Even though the bedside tables are, have got this nice inlay, they're just coordinating too much with the bed. So it's just not lifting the room. And that's why I like a contrast. And I, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, I had this bed custom made years and years ago with the bedside tables, but I wouldn't do that now. I would never match my bedside tables to my bed. It doesn't really go. And it just looks like you went and bought everything together at once. The best feeling in the world has got to be getting into bed at the end of the day and just know you're going to get a really good night's sleep because your bed setup works for you. 
That's why it's so important to style your bed in a way that's going to maximize your sleep, especially in these uncertain times because of COVID and everything else that's going on. We really need to prioritize our well-being and setting up your bed in a way that prioritizes this is going to make all the difference. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. What's your bed situation like? Is it comfortable? Is it working for you? What do you need to improve? You know, so please comment below and let's get the conversation going. If this was helpful, please like it and share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. Ping the notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.